Hello everyone, this is Casey with another look at LumaDesk. Today I wanted to look at the Easy Remote app available in uh, the App Store for iPad and iPhone. You can use it on either device, although it is better with, uh, with an iPad or iPad Mini just simply because it has a larger screen space. So it'll be, you, you, you'll have more flexibility in, in the use of it. Uh, it will work with, uh, with an iPhone. Um, I would think with an iPhone, if you're just simply wanting to dim, have dim control or RGB color changing on the fly remotely, um, or maybe just simply just an XY movement, then uh, that would work just fine uh, on the uh, iPhone. So uh, first, what we want to do is we want to connect um, the uh, remote the Easy Remote app to our LumaDesk program. So if you can open up either uh, application first, it doesn't matter. Um, if you open up LumaDesk first um, and then the app, it will detect the controller. If you happen to open up the app before you uh, open up LumaDesk, then you'll need to click refresh here. Uh, for uh, for it to uh, research the uh, signal, and the type of connection that we're running here is just a Wi-Fi connection. You know, I'm at my home, and uh, this is what we surf the net on, and uh, this is currently what we're what we're using. Um, we're gonna hopefully in the future we'll be able to do maybe an ad hoc type connection in case we're at a venue where they don't have a Wi-Fi signal. Um, Worst case scenario, uh, if you really need to use this at a lot of your events, then you can uh, just invest in a uh, wireless router and include that in your console, and then you'll always have uh, a Wi-Fi connection. You don't have to worry about the ad hoc. So LumaDesk is open. We've got our show open. We're going to connect the app now. And uh, it has pulled up the last... Uh, design the, uh, that I created and imported for the app. And this is XY movement for a scanner or moving head. I've got a couple of show uh, sequence triggers here, sequence one and two. And then here is the color palette for some RGB LED fixtures. And then uh, label name is, you can, you have the option to, to have a, a label up here just to identify what venue or what show, whatever you might be using, uh, just so you got a visual indicator. These are our fixtures here. I've, we're using Q6, uh, and I've created a couple of sequences for that here. I've got it all pulled up here on the visualizer. So if we click on sequence one and we hit play, then we can watch the rendering in the 3D visualizer. And I've got an American DJ uh, Mega Go Bar here for us to uh, look at in real life. So these couple of sequences here I've got running. Doing some strobing over here. So nothing too fancy. Alright, so first we need to design our app. Now that the app is talking to LumaDesk, now we need to design what we want to show up on the app. So you click on the Easy Remote Designer, and it brings up this uh, little window where it shows you what devices it detects. We're going to use the iPad. This other one is my iPhone. So we're going to click on that, and this is what the Easy Designer looks like. There's nothing here. Um, don't let it intimidate you. Um, it's, it's a lot easier than uh, it looks. So I've actually already got that show, got something built, so I'm going to click the open file and uh, open the iPad file. And now we're looking at the exact same thing, iPad computer, only things are blacked out here. So now what I want to do is I want to add RGB control uh, to the design for the uh, American DJ Mega Go Bar. Okay, so here's how we do that. Click on your fixture, which is going to bring up the uh, fixture controls over here on the right side of the screen as normal. And this is the RGB control that right here. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to drag that sucker over here onto the palette, just like that. All right. So uh, so that looks good. That's 
That's how all, all you do, and it it work. It functions the same for x and y movement, which we don't have x and y with the Mega Go Bar. So let's uh, let's select our platinum spots, and it brings up the tools over here on the right, and you just click on the x and y and drag it onto the screen and put it where you want. You can also uh, resize it if you need to, if you need to make it bigger or smaller. So we've already got X and Y, so uh, we're good there. So now let's create a, uh, a third sequence here with just our Mega Go Bar. Okay, so I'm going to go down here to the queue, select that, select our Mega Go Bar, and uh, let's turn on the dimmer, turn on the color wheel, and let's make it blue. Okay, got blue. And note again, we're sequence three, Q6. All right, so now let's go back to our designer because I need to show, I want to add that third sequence to the uh, design panel so I can trigger that remotely. And that's what these are. These are sequence one and two of our show. So now we created a third sequence. So I want to get that on here so I can do that. So what I just did was I right clicked, add a button, dragged it where I wanted it. So now I need to tell it uh, what I want that button to do. Add action. So we're on Q6. Just type in Q6 and sequence 3. Bam. And let's rename it CQ3. Blue. And click OK. So now our sequence is added to the designer. We'll save it. And then we'll close it. Now we need to send the new design to the iPad. Just click Send Setup to Device. Tell it which file you want. We want to send the iPad file. Give it a moment. And then it imports the new design. Now it's actually uh, imported it's got two designs on top of each other, so the best thing to do is to refresh. Just click the little lock icon and then click the refresh button, and then it will refresh the screen. And so now we've only got one on here. And when the surface is unlocked, you can drag these anywhere you need to on the fly. You can reposition them anywhere you want. Um, but you will need to relock it back so that you can function those uh, pieces there. All right, so now we're on the live screen. I'm going to pull up the 3D visualizer, show you sequence one. I'm going to click on that. That is what sequence one does. And again, we're triggering it from the laptop right now. All right, I'm going to turn it off and put my mouse pointer over here on the 3D visualizer, just so you can see. Come over here, and I'm going to click on sequence one. Just like that. All right, here comes sequence two. And our third sequence, which is all blue. Just like that. Turn it off. All right, now let's say we wanted to make our Mega Go Bar, we wanted to change the color. We decided we didn't like that. Come down here to your color palette. And we've got that scene activated here. Come down here to the color palette, turn it on, and then drag the control to wherever you want it. We want to go to the greens and the yellows. Here we go. We've got yellow, red, purple. You also have dim control around the perimeter of the circle. And dim it down. Just like that. Dim it back up. Change color. Whatever you want. Alright, so it functions just like the live desktop control does. Uh, when you want to take live control. Same thing. Alright, so let's go back to sequence one. And let's say we want to take control of the X, Y of the uh, five R's. Just activate it. And then it comes down here to the corner. That 
that's me doing that. It has given me control via the iPad and it disregards whatever you're programming. The show is still running in all the other elements. You know, the color changing and all that are all running as programmed, but I've taken live control via the iPad. And if I want to turn that off, just disconnect, and then the show playback resumes as recorded. So that is a look at the Easy Remote app getting it started. Again, this was on a Wi-Fi network, and this is the easiest way to get it to go at this point. Thanks so much for watching. Post any questions or comments if you have them.